10 things to know about Mars 2020. Hey everyone, welcome to Wacky Universe. I'm your host, Jay. Later this year in July, NASA will launch its new Mars rover to explore the red planet's secrets. Here's what you need to know about Mars 2020 before it goes on its two-year expedition. 10. Rover's Mission Mars 2020's mission is to understand our neighboring planet's life-sustaining potential by looking at two sides of the same coin. It will both search for signs of life past and present on Mars, and work to improve humans' chance of survival on the surface during future manned missions to the planet. Now, no one is expecting the rover to find green, big-headed aliens hiding somewhere on the planet. The best NASA is hoping for are fossils of past microbial life trapped in the cache of rocks the rover will eventually bring home. Even if we don't find proof of life on Mars, however, Mars 2020 will help change that in the future. The rover will analyze the planet's atmosphere and environment, identify existing resources, and possibly prove methods of producing unavailable resources like oxygen. This will help make future human-led expeditions on Mars in the coming decades not just a possibility, but a reality. If you're new to Wacky Universe, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of all our upcoming videos. And if you end up enjoying this one, hit the like button before you go. 9. Launch Mars 2020 will launch from Cape Canaveral, Florida between July 17th and August 5th this year and will arrive on February 18th, 2021. When approaching the planet next year, the rover will use a guided entry, descent, and landing system known as the Sky Crane Maneuver, which is exactly as Mission Impossible as it sounds, to reach its initial exploratory goal, Jezero Crater. Among its EDL equipment, Mars 2020 will have a parachute, a separate descent vehicle, and a terrain navigation sensor so it can safely make its way onto the planet's surface. The terrain sensor is a new but valuable addition to the Mars rover as it'll give it access to cameras and real-time computer analysis of the ground below. Mars 2020 will have no trouble heading across the planet's rocky terrain with determination and will be able to start its mission as soon as it touches down. 8. Hi, my name is... From Voyager to Curiosity and Opportunity, NASA's space probes and rovers have always had their names be more than just identifying monikers. They're hallmarks of each mission's goals and, in a sense, their craft's spirits. The Mars 2020 rover is currently nameless, but this isn't from a lack of creativity on NASA's part. Last year, the space agency opened up the unique opportunity for students K-12 to submit their suggestions in the Mars 2020 Name the Rover essay contest. Mars's current rover Curiosity was named the same way back in 2009. Submissions for the new rover's name are closed, and the contest nine finalists chosen. The finalist essays are currently published on NASA's website, so make sure to check them out and cast your vote for your favorite one on the public poll. The winner will be announced on February 18th, a full year before the newly named rover lands on the planet's surface. 7. MOXIE Astronauts on Mars won't be able to rely on semi-frequent resupply shipments with all the resources they need like those aboard the International Space Station can. Lucky for future Mars explorers, Mars 2020 will have a lot more MOXIE than its predecessors. The rover's MOXIE, Mars Oxygen ISRU experiment, will allow it to convert the planet's 96% carbon dioxide atmosphere into pure, usable oxygen. However, MOXIE won't focus on making breathable oxygen, but will instead work to create liquid oxygen propellant as rocket fuel. Mars 2020 won't produce enough to fully support any incoming astronauts. MOXIE's still only an experiment after all. Shuttles would need 33 to 50 tons of liquid oxygen to make it back home, and MOXIE can only produce about 10 grams an hour for about two hours at a time. Later manned missions to Mars will need MOXIE generators a hundred times larger than the one Mars 2020 will take to support even three quarters of the amount astronauts will need. 6. Jezero Crater Once it lands in 2021, Mars 2020 will make its home in Jezero Crater. This used to be the site of a great lake, but is now just a Lake Tahoe-sized 250-meter deep crater. While it may be completely dry now, Jezero was chosen for what its past represents. Besides carbon, water is believed to be the essential building block of life, so anywhere water is found is a viable locale for alien life. As long as aliens follow the basic rules of life here on Earth, of course. NASA hopes that by exploring Jezero Crater's rocks and soil, 
the Mars 2020 rover can uncover fossils and other signs of life from billions of years ago. The crater contains the remnants of river delta deposits, shorelines, and possible hot springs from its initial formation. The rover will then make its way out of the crater and up the connecting river to explore more of Mars's river system on that side of the planet. This diversity within the planet's watery ecosystem will offer a greater opportunity for life once existing on Mars. 5. Martian Ears While all Mars rovers have had multiple cameras recording and broadcasting their every move and discovery, the Mars 2020 rover will be the first equipped with microphones. We've attempted to bring microphones to the planet in the past on two separate missions, but one lander crashed into the planet's surface and the other's mic was never turned on. The new Mars rover is looking to do better than its predecessors this time. When it finally touches down on the planet's surface in 2021, Mars 2020 will capture the first recorded audio of Mars. Of course, within that audio will be the sounds of the rover doing its job. Landing on Mars, driving across the surface, and even vaporizing Martian soil into plasma with the zap of a laser. The microphone will be particularly helpful by allowing scientists to classify the makeup of Mars' surface through the intensity of the plasma's pops alone. 4. Planetary Friends Once it lands next year, Mars 2020 will never be alone on the red planet as it'll join the rover Curiosity on the planet's surface. Curiosity has been on Mars since 2012, and it plans to be there for a while, even past Mars 2020's expected 687-day Martian year. The two won't be close to each other while exploring two different craters over 3,700 miles apart, but they will be together in spirit and in their programming teams here on Earth. Technically, both previous Mars rovers Spirit and Opportunity will also be joining Curiosity in 2020 on the planet but they won't be able to give their younger sibling a hearty welcome. Spirit became inactive in 2010 and Opportunity in 2018 while trying to navigate the harsh Mars environment. So only their bodies are on the planet, not their minds. Thankfully, rover engineering has improved since they were both sent out in 2003. The chance of Mars 2020 doing the same is unlikely. Three, Curiosity 2.0. Mars 2020 won't just live with Curiosity, but its design is primarily based on the other rovers. In a sense, the new rover is not just a younger sibling, but a Curiosity 2.0. The two rovers' exteriors by themselves are extremely similar, from the white elevated head housing a camera to the seven foot long robotic arm. However, they're not identical. Mars 2020 will be revamping and improving quite a few elements inherited from Curiosity to make it more efficient. Mission critical features like cameras, navigating systems, and landing techniques have been tweaked, and even its six wheels have experienced minor changes. They're narrower, slightly thicker, and stronger and have differently shaped grooves, straighter than Curiosity's chevrons. This might just seem like it's for hashtag aesthetic purposes, but every change made to Mars 2020 was done with purpose. This straighter design will allow the rover to better adapt to both Mars's rocky and sandy surfaces. Plus, if the two ever did cross paths with one another, we could be safely assured that we could tell where each one went just by looking at their tracks. Two, licensed driver. On December 17th, 2019, the Mars 2020 rover proved during its first driving test that it can roll forward, backward, and even dance as it performed a pirouette. It drove for over 10 hours without the help of JPL scientists holding its hand or commanding it. This means that the not-so-little rover that could has officially earned its driver's license and is ready to start roaming Mars' surface. There may be no liquid left on Mars' surface for it to drink, but at least the rover has proven that it can be its own designated driver. Mars 2020 is much more autonomous than its older siblings, so it'll be able to go further before needing navigation commands from scientists Earthside. Once on Mars, the rover will be able to travel an average of 650 feet per Martian day. It's almost assured that Mars 2020 will beat the previous single day record of 702 feet set by Opportunity and continue to do so during its time on the Red Planet. I guess it's a universal constant that all younger siblings want to prove themselves better than their elders. What are you most looking forward to when it comes to the Mars 2020 mission? I'd love to read your thoughts in the comments below. One, your name here. If you haven't done it yourself, then you've at least seen that humans love to put their names everywhere possible. 
Tree carvings, graffiti, clothing tags, and artist signatures, all of these speak of our need to claim ownership of things that may or may not be ours. NASA has given humans around the world the opportunity to put their names on Mars through the Mars 2020 rover. At the agency's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, an electron beam will engrave names submitted to NASA onto some of the rover's microchips. Each name will be almost microscopic, not even a tenth of a percent the width of a single human hair, so one million names can fit onto each chip. In all, 10,932,295 names were submitted. Turkey had by far the largest submissions, over 2.5 million by itself beating out India and the United States with their 1.7 million each. In a way, those people whose names are etched into the microchips will be some of the first to make it to Mars, long before the first human ever steps foot on the planet's surface.